In this video we'll see on how you can monitor long-running processes in SAP CPI. So I was uh, recently talking with a client about how they could manage some of the long-running processes. So they had a challenge that they were uploading data to, to some given stores, uh, I guess a product suite or something like that, and they wanted to process all of these pro products uh, in one go and understand how it was going and then how do you actually monitor something like this this is what we'll try to cover here so first the monitoring part and we'll look at also on how you can terminate it which is also an important part so for monitoring I think you have two options one is to use the the header variables where you can set up a message type and the application ID, which will then increase as you move along sending data to it. The other way would be that you write a variable, uh, the store ID, and then you have some data about the max and the current index. Uh, I've just created a small groovy script that wait uh, five, uh, 10 seconds, and then that is it. So let's save it. So here we have, we can trigger it and we can specify here are the number of iterations we should move over times two seconds. And we can also have a store ID for this. So nothing fancy, uh, just wanting to send some data to it. So now we have triggered a message and what we can go into here is we can go into the variables and now we can see we have store 24, which now have one out of 20 entries and I guess in like 10 seconds we should have another one now we have two out of two. so that means that this one is a way we can monitor this we can also look here in the message run here we can see these data but they are not updated that often and obviously we can also use the figure monitor to look at these payloads which is sometimes a little easier because you have the application id out here so if you put the application id here you would then be able to see what is going on for these specific uh, iterations uh, we can also see it has the data store entry here okay so now i'm not sure how many it has processed a few and we want to terminate it so what we can do here is we can go to our data store and here in the data store we have one entry here for number 24 what we can do is we can just call delete and then this will remove this and that means that once we so we set this data store entry here we write it and then in our in this process here we'll then say get data store id and throw an exception on missing entries so let's see if it has processed now it is still in process so i think there is something once you have started processing that it can take a little while for it to complete so let's see if it is still here so it is now cancelled after one minute and 30 seconds and we can see here it did not really update all of these all the time so that is one of the reasons the application id may not be the ideal one and we can see we got a cancellation because of a user interaction um, and that would be a way that you can cancel it since it is not there uh, yet and if we just look at our variable we then get for 24 it's processed 8 out of uh, 40 messages um, so it is definitely and here we can see that this message has been cancelled so this gives us a lot of opportunity to manage and monitor the iFlow you can also follow the blocks see the link in the description uh, to learn more about how you can manage these things and obviously I do hope you want to check out the VGAF tool to manage and monitor your SAP cloud integration thanks for watching and do like the video